Building your website with BoldGrid is accomplished in two easy phases. The first phase is the inspiration phase. This is where you will select your primary category and then select from a base site based on your category or industry. The second phase is the customization phase. This is where you will spend most of your time making the site built in the inspiration phase your own. So let's get started. To begin the inspiration phase, simply click the Inspirations option from your left-hand sidebar menu. This brings you to the main Inspirations page. When you first get started, you will notice you can opt to install either an active or staging version. Active is a live version of your site and is available immediately to the public. If you do not yet have a site, this is the one you want to click on. Staging is more to create a development version of your site where you can make and test any changes you want to see before going live. Here we will click Install as Active. Now you'll select the primary category. While you can select any category you want, try and pick one that is closest to what your site is about. We're always adding new categories, so feel free to request one as well. For our example, we will select Real Estate. Next, you get to choose a theme. You can preview the themes to see a live preview, or you can simply select the one you like. At the top of each theme, you see there is a range of copyright coins. Copyright coins allow you to use copyrighted images supplied through BoldGrid. These images contain watermarks. If you wish to remove the watermarks, they cost a number of coins to replace them with a non-watermarked version. If you do not wish to use them at all, you can simply replace them with your own images. Here, we decide to go with the pavilion theme. After selecting your theme, you now need to select a particular page set. These range from a basic site to a fully detailed kitchen sink site. For our example, we will start with the base page set to keep it easy. You can always add or remove pages later on. You are able to see a live preview of the page set by clicking on the preview button. Take your time to visit the different pages and see if they will fit your site. You are also able to see how the site will look on tablets or phones. Regardless of which page set you choose to begin your site, you can completely customize it later on. This selection is just a starting point for your site. Once you decide on which page set you want, go ahead and install it to your base theme. To do this, click Select in the upper right-hand corner. Then click Install this website. You are through the first phase at this point, and your website is now installed and ready to visit. Congratulations on launching your first site. With your base site installed, you are ready to begin the customization phase. Much of the customizing for your chosen inspiration theme will be done using the Customizer tool. To access this tool, click on the Customize option on the left-hand sidebar. The customization phase is where you will make changes to your information like site title and call to action, add and remove pages, and replace the stock content with your own. The customization phase is a continuous process as you will add and tweak content such as pages and images later to meet your website's ongoing needs. Let's take a look at the areas you will be using. The first time you enter the customizer, you will see a help overlay. This briefly explains the different sections of a page to help you understand how the tabs on the left affect the site. You can close it by clicking on the X in the upper right hand corner. You can always return to this screen later by clicking the Help tab in the Customizer. Once in the Customizer, you can see various tabs on the left hand side relating to the different settings or areas you can adjust. Here is where you'll start customizing your BoldGrid website. The awesome part about the Customizer is the live preview over in the right hand panel. As you make changes, the right hand view panel will update so you can preview them before going live. Don't forget to hit the Save and Publish button as you go along to ensure you save any changes. Let's briefly go over the tabs. First is the Site Title and Logo tab. Here you have a lot of options like the actual site title, a tagline or subtitle, font styling, spacing and positioning, text shadowing, and a place to enter a site logo and a site icon also called a favicon. Next is the colors tab. 
In this tab, you can play with the color palette tool. It has predetermined palettes for you to use, or you can build a custom one. This allows you to customize the theme with your colors. For instance, you may have specific colors in your business branding and want to use those colors to match the branding that's already in place. The background tab. This area allows you to replace the default background images with your own. Keep in mind, you can preview it as soon as the change has been made to see if it fits your site. The Menus tab. Here, you can create and switch out menus for your site. You can also create and edit a social media menu to point to all your social media accounts. Next, we have the Widgets tab. This is the area that allows you to configure any widgets you are using on the site. This is where you will edit information such as the call to action and stock contact information that is found in the footer. And last is the advanced tab. This is where more advanced users can further customize by adding widgets to the header and footer or custom JavaScript and CSS code. Once you're done working on a tab, don't forget to click the save and publish button to save any changes you made. All the changes that you were previewing will now be live on your site. Click the X in the top left-hand corner to leave the customizer. In our next step, we're going to look at editing, adding, and removing content. Adding and removing pages is done via the Pages section. Locate the Pages option from the left-hand sidebar and give it a click. Removing pages is very simple. Hover over the page you wish to delete and send to Trash by clicking the Trash link. Be sure to update your menu and remove the page item from there as well. If you want to restore a page, you can do that here. Visit the trash area, hover over the page you want to restore, and click on the restore link. To edit a page, either click on the specific page title, or hover over it and click on the edit link. We can edit the content within the blocks. We can drag columns. We can delete columns. We can add additional grid blocks and we can view the pages on different devices such as desktop, tablet, and mobile. From the Pages List page, you can add new pages by clicking the Add New button. You will be able to add new bold grid content by selecting Add Media and then Insert Grid Block. You can edit these grid blocks by using the drag handles within the bold grid editor. There are drag handles for rows, columns, and individual elements on the page. You can edit images by clicking on the Edit button located in the Media Toolbar found by clicking on the image itself. You also have the ability to upload images from your computer and even use the Bold Grid Connect feature that allows you to search for images. It's important to mention that you're able to start over at any time. You can learn more about starting over and any of the other information we've covered in the tutorials section of the left-hand sidebar. That's all there is to creating your own content-rich website using the Bold Grid tool. See how easy it is?